Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to WWE 2K22, My Rise. And we start with Jay Pierce. He has an idea for us to work together. How will this go? I'm not too sure. Will we stay on his best side? Probably not, but let's see. I know you and I have mostly been doing our own thing on SmackDown, but I think it's time for that to change. Why is that? Because we have a special bond from training together at the PC. Even though we weren't always on the same page, that bond is still there. It means something. Just tell me what you want. What I want is the Intercontinental Championship. And I want you to help me get it. I already have my old buddy Nakamura here, and there's power in numbers. If you'll join us. Okay, I'm willing to give this a shot. What's your plan? I've already had a couple matches, but he's always found a way to escape with his championship. So with our help, you're going to beat him. Then give me a title match. Deal? So how about tonight I get his attention? He has a match scheduled, but I'll make sure he never makes it to the ring. I like it. See? I have a feeling this is going to work out just fine. What's happening here? He's ambushing Big E. That's what's happening. He's not even scheduled to face Big E tonight. Somebody needs to get out here and put an end to this. Now, the reason we agreed to help Pierce was because it was the heel answer, so it's in keeping her current persona. Big E wants a three-on-two match, so that's what he's going to have. But who will be his mystery partner? Let's find out next. The following contest is a three-on-two tag team handicap match on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 703 pounds. Death, Paragon, Jay Pierce, and Shinsuke Nakamura. The killer instinct of the MMA cage is part of this competitor's DNA. Word is he was actually banned from competing in one MMA organization, but he's adjusted well to the rules of the WWE ring. Time to think big! <laughs> A powerhouse of positivity. And their opponents first. Representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Big E. Now, I think Big E seems to have lost in since his NXT days is his last name. Such a hater, man. Relax. He's a glutton. He's greedy. He's selfish. Three ain't enough. He needs five. WrestleMania, the showstopper, and weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. I don't believe there's been a greater performer in the history of WWE than this man, the Heartbreak Kid, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. Without question, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, has paved the way for countless superstars here in WWE. It may be popular nowadays, but no one has used this super kick quite as well as HBK. And none have ever done it better.
the mystery partner has been revealed as the one and only Shawn Michaels. So we have Nakamura, Paragon, Wolverine, the Big E, Shawn Michaels, and it starts with Wolverine and Big E in the ring. Nice quick early tags for the double teams here. Nakamura now taking over from Wolverine. And it's interesting using different characters and trying to work out their movesets. Um, just because we're so used to using just Wolverine. So it is a nice opportunity to try and use other people and vary it up a little bit. We might, we might see a few moves we think, oh, we like that. Nice drop kick there by Nakamura. He's a character that I'm not a massive fan of in WWE. But at the same time, controlling him is not too bad. His moveset's quite good. It's quite varied. As he picks up Big E here and takes him down. Nice move on Big E. Didn't go for the pin though. Knew it was a little bit too early. He throws Big E into the turnbuckle. And Wolverine is now back in the ring, jumping over the ropes. Double team move on Big E. And Big E is in a bit of trouble here. He's not really getting anything going. Shawn Michaels wants the tag, but Wolverine's team is keeping Big E isolated and away from Shawn Michaels. And that's the important part. Any match like this, you've got to, you've got to kind of keep one person isolated. This is going to take a lot of strength. Can Wolverine pick Big E up? He can. And down he goes on the turnbuckle. That is a big move by Wolverine. That is going to do some damage. Wolverine looking like he's trying to get to the top of the turnbuckle. Struggle to jump over Big E there for some reason. Nice elbow. Oh, he missed with the elbow. And Big E now fighting back. This is Big E's chance. As he lifts Wolverine above his head. He doesn't struggle like Wolverine just did. But Wolverine powering through. Managed to get underneath Big E. But Big E now fighting back. Punches to the head of Wolverine. This is, is all action non-stop at this point. Big E really needs to fight back as much as possible. He's carrying Wolverine to his corner effortlessly, I must say. Knocking Wolverine down. Big E stomping into Wolverine in the corner. He knows he needs to tag, but at the minute, he seems to be enjoying himself. He's got everything over Wolverine. Big E now finally letting Shawn Michaels into the match. And if we remember Wolverine's history at the Performance Center, Wolverine started his training with a win over Shawn Michaels. Road Dog did later get revenge, but we did manage to beat Shawn Michaels one on one on our first day of training. So we know Shawn Michaels will be up for some mo some revenge in front of the WWE fans. The legend that is the Heartbreak Kid. Wolverine now in a bit of trouble. He's taking some punishment from both Big E and Shawn Michaels. Does manage to kick out before the two. Wolverine desperately needs this tag now. Shawn Michaels getting Big E back into the match. Wolverine not going to his corner just yet. Instead, he's going to throw Big E over there instead. Can we get another double team move? It looks like we are. Paragon, Jay Pierce, and now into the match. And a nice double team making Big E fall backwards. Nice move there. Now Paragon, Jay Pierce is in control. Can he keep the control? It's the only concern. Wolverine seems a bit unsure of what to do. <laughs> Paragon worries me in terms of his, his moveset, his... Ability to wrestle in the first place. We're not a fan of Paragon. We did decide to help him mainly because it fits with our persona. And there's always an ulterior motive for Wolverine. You know, it gives us a chance to get one up on other people. Big E with the splash on Paragon there. Paragon is in big trouble. It's one. And it's only a one. A big kick out there by Paragon. I'd really thought that big splash had done a lot more damage, but Paragon fresh into the ring is probably the only reason he survived that. Shawn Michaels with a punch. Coming off the turn, off the ropes there and missing. Paragon picking Shawn Michaels back up now. And Shawn Michaels in a little bit of trouble as Paragon rolls through and into the pin. It's one, it's two, and Shawn Michaels kicks out after two. It wasn't close to be fair to three, it was just two. Paragon now into the submission. Shawn Michaels struggling, can he get, react to this? He's going to fight out. Paragon isn't quite managing to hold it in there. And Shawn Michaels fights out. The experience, I think, they're telling more than anything else. Shawn Michaels got the back of Paragon. Paragon floats over and throws Shawn Michaels back into his side to turnbuckle. Wolverine is back in for this. Wolverine with the double team with Paragon. That's a big move there on Shawn Michaels. I will say, Wolverine's team is dominating. There's flurries from the other side, but it is generally Wolverine's team that is dominating this so far. 
Nice take down there by Shawn Michaels though. Wolverine struggling to keep going at this point. Nice reversal. He's guiding Shawn Michaels to the floor. Into the turnbuckle, Shawn Michaels goes bouncing off it really badly there. Shawn Michaels looking in trouble. But it's going to be the brutal claw by Wolverine. Wasn't quite expecting this at this point, but he's pulled it out of the bag. Brutal claw, and Wolverine looks pumped. He looks ready. Wolverine looking for Weapon X, but no. Blocked by Shawn Michaels there. Following up with punches, Wolverine quickly blocking it. And Weapon X was blocked. That's not what we wanted. This match is going on a little while now. Everyone looks a bit tired. The only person that seems fresh is Nakamura. He hasn't really been in the ring since that little flurry at the start. Hasn't really been back in the ring. Paragon now, the man in the ring for the Wolverine Steam. I say it's Wolverine Steam. Is it Wolverine or is it Paragon Steam? Not too sure at this point. Shawn Michaels though thrown into the corner again. And here we are, Nakamura, the freshest man against Shawn Michaels. He's probably the, the most tired, the most beaten up. This is a chance for the team to win. I think if we can keep Shawn Michaels in the ring, this could be the way this goes. Nice knee there by Nakamura on Shawn Michaels. He's trying to dominate. Oh, Shawn Michaels got away there. I thought he was going to go for the tag. Both men missing wildly. Ignore the uh, dirty move paybacks. <laughs> Notice there. Nakamura now. Got to keep on top of Shawn Michaels. He is tired. You can see he's tired. And it's the yes kicks to Shawn Michaels. I know it's not really the yes kicks. But anyway. They're still the yes kicks in my mind. Nice kick to the face. Brings Shawn Michaels down. Nakamura doesn't seem to be finished just yet. Shawn Michaels into the corner. Nakamura getting caught up by the referee there. I thought Shawn Michaels had blocked it, but not quite. Nakamura had that scouted. Nice move by Nakamura there as he takes Michaels down again. And Michaels rolls out the ring. That wasn't quite what Nakamura wanted. He had gone into the corner thinking Shawn Michaels is still in the ring, but he had rolled himself out at that point. And Shawn Michaels is in trouble. I think even Big E at this point is in trouble. This team of three has dominated this match so far. And Big E's team of two just hasn't really got going. Nakamura there. Kicks the game to Shawn Michaels. Going for the pin. Big E's back up on the turnbuckle though. On the turnbuckle? On the side of the ring. Quickly getting in the ring. Not blocking it. Shawn Michaels did kick out to be fair. Nice move by Nakamura. Taking Shawn Michaels down again. And kicks to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is struggling. Nakamura fully in control at this point. Are we going to see the Kinshasa anytime soon? Apologies for the pronunciation. That's completely wrong. I've only just learned the name of it to be fair. Nice reversal there by Shawn Michaels. He's still got some fight left in him, hasn't he? The experience is telling here. Wolverine has got Big E outside the ring. And he's keeping him down. So this is a chance now for the team to actually get some something going here. Can we pull out the win while Big E is busy with Wolverine? And at this point, I'm actually trying to figure out how to do the finisher for Nakamura. I wasn't too sure how to do it. I think Big E is back up into the ring, onto the ring apron now isn't quite what we wanted. Shawn Michaels very quick up there as well. Where did that come from? Nice kick from Nakamura. Takes him down once more. He's trying to work out how to do it because I have no clue. wonder if it's a running move. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, Shawn Michaels fighting back. Could this be what ends this match? Is actually us trying to figure out how to do Nakamura's finisher. Do not want Shawn Michaels tagging out. That's the one thing we've got to try and isolate and stop happening. Shawn Michaels putting... Nakamura into the corner now. That's not good. But Nakamura fighting back with the elbow. Potentially stopping the double team move there. It's a very good move by Nakamura. Knocking Shawn Michaels down. Well, Shawn Michaels rolling out the ring again. He's very quick to roll out Shawn Michaels. Which is obviously stopping some momentum on Nakamura's side. And actually if you look at the health of everyone. I think Wolverine's team is probably the fittest at this point. They're all in good condition compared to Big E. And I still can't quite figure out how to do Nakamura's finisher. This is why I'm struggling to finish the match. I'm, I'm adamant I'm going to use it. And there we have it. The Kinshasa on Shawn Michaels. Out of nowhere. Referee did get, get a bit caught up in that. Big E saving the match. I thought we had it won. I really did. But no, Big E has to save it. Big E tossed out of the ring though. 
And Wolverine drops Biggie down. Okay. We need another one. Can we do another Kinshasa? We can indeed. Shawn Michaels down for the second time. Two Kinshasas. And it's one. It's two. It's three. And the team of Wolverine, Paragon J. Pierce and Nakamura have beaten Big E and Shawn Michaels. That is a fantastic win for an unlikely team, I think you should say. It isn't an expected result. It's three on two. I think they did very well. The experience of Shawn Michaels did tell, but it wasn't enough for them to follow through. And this looks like a good team. How long would it stay together, though? That's the question. Especially when there's gold involved. Shawn Michaels talking a little bit on social media. And now we seem to have talked ourselves into an intercontinental title shot. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 248 pounds, Death. And introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Big E. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. So here we have it then, Intercontinental title on the line, Wolverine versus Big E. This was not the way I thought this was going to go from the end. We've got this chance. Can we fulfill our potential in, on SmackDown and make really the best of this opportunity? Unlikely opportunity. Starting strong, Wolverine all over Big E from the start, making sure we power into him. We know in the tag team match... We kind of dominated, but that was only because we managed to isolate them away from each other, Biggie and Shawn Michaels, and it was a brilliant match. I'd like this one not to quite go on as long. It was quite a long match by the end of it, but there's more important things on the go. We have got Paragon on the outside cheering us on. Hopefully, he's not going to hinder us. It's always the worry when there's someone on the outside, isn't it? So far, Wolverine is all over Big E. Both men missing wildly there. Big E now trying to fight back, carrying Wolverine effortlessly to the corner. He throws him down. Big E just looks so effortless. When he really grabs hold of you, it's just effortless, isn't it? Wolverine fighting back, though. A bit more ground and pound for Wolverine this time as he fights back against Big E. He knows this is an opportunity he can't wait. We've already we've had, we've tasted gold previously. Wolverine is a champion four-time NXT champion and undefeated North American champion. Intercontinental title adding to that list. That would be an incredible way to start our career on SmackDown. We haven't been on SmackDown that long, so it would be a good start. What is this? He's not happy. It's Nakamura coming out with the distraction now. It wasn't what that Big E wants. Wolverine, can he take advantage of Nakamura being at ringside? Straight up behind Big E. This could be a turning point. Was that enough of a distraction for Wolverine to take advantage? I'm not sure. Nakamura seems to be leaving again now, though. I thought he was going to stay, but he didn't. Wolverine in control currently. And we're going to have the beats to the chest of Big E. And Big E is struggling to really do anything in this match so far. Yes, the distractions have helped Wolverine. But even so, in the ring, Big E just seems powerless at this point to really stop the momentum of Wolverine. Wolverine here, brutal claw on Big E. 
Wasn't expecting that. Kind of out of the blue, but he's got it. Right, let's set him up. Let's go for it. Let's finish this and win our first ever Intercontinental title. Weapon X is blocked by Big E. That wasn't what he wanted. Big E powering through now, slamming Wolverine to the floor. Wolverine very quick to his feet, though. Kind of a no-sell in some ways. Big E throwing Wolverine into the turnbuckle. Wolverine fighting back, though. He's not giving any room to manoeuvre for Big E. He's making sure Big E knows who's in charge and who should be the champion. Going for the submission. We've seen this a bit more recently from Wolverine. Trying submissions, trying to, you know, wear down the opponent. Well, we haven't been successful yet. I don't think we've actually won a match of a submission, but it's all about wearing down the opponent, grinding them down, and submissions are a good form to do that. Biggie powering out with the elbows there to Wolverine's face. Wolverine back up and back in control. He's just not laying up, is he? Nice takedown there. Going for the pin again. What are we going to get here? It's one. It's two. It's no. Two and a half, maybe at a push. And that was Big E powering out once more. Yeah, Wolverine looking to go high risk. Can he get the elbow from the top rope here? Can indeed elbow to the chest of Big E. And going straight for the pin after the elbow. One after one. Not even getting a two count. Big E does not want to let this title leave him just yet. Wolverine seems to be ready once again for Weapon X. Can we hit it this time? It's been blocked once. Weapon X from Wolverine. No. Big E has reversed it. He blocked the first one. That one he reversed. I thought we had it. Not quite. And Wolverine is down. Big E looks like he's got some momentum, but very quick reversal. Puts the pressure back onto Big E. Wolverine trying to pull out all the stops here. Throwing Big E into the turnbuckle. Are we going to see it? I think we are. Berserker charge from Wolverine. Wolverine seems ready to finish this match. Big E is down. And Wolverine seems ready. He's tried Weapon X twice so far, and Big E's seen it, scouted it. So this time, it's going to be Wolverine's revenge. He's down once. He's down twice. Let's go for the pin. Can this be it? Is this it? It's one. It's two. It's three. And Wolverine has won his first ever Intercontinental title. Add that to the list of achievements that Wolverine already has in his fledgling career. What a victory. I would say it was a hard-fought close match, but it wasn't. Big E just didn't really turn up. But Wolverine has done it. Wolverine has got his first gold in Sma on SmackDown. Not in WWE. On SmackDown. And he is ready for more. Now, even though we've won this, we have to give... Jay Pierce, a title defense. We This was part of the deal to help him. So our first title defense will be against Jay Pierce. But will we roll over for him? Well, we'll find out next time with more WWE 2K22. My rise.